Hello there, this is Elson Gray with the Force of My Calling, and in this video, we're going to talk about CSS specificity. So, what is CSS specificity? So, I don't know if you ever came across this, but sometimes you set some styles and it doesn't get applied and gets overridden by other ones, and you get confused with like, why, why am I just styles being overwritten? And that's a sign you don't understand CSS, CSS specificity. So, this video is exactly for you that came um, across those issues. So, CSS specific is actually a set of rules, um, and let's say it's core as well, that dictates what style gets applied and what gets overwritten. So on the top of the or the the, the chain, so I'm gonna say this: um, the top one are worth a thousand points. Some people might disagree, but is in the house of the thousands. So the top ones are worth a thousand. The other one, right below it, hundreds in a hundred half, and the other ones are in tens, and we have in ones, and we have zero. Some of the things that don't matter. So on the thousands actually are styles you set on the HTML page. You know, so there's two ways you can set um, styles um, on the HTML. So one way is to go on this head inside a head tag and said for example I'm gonna say section I'm gonna say background red and the other one is to go directly on the element and say style attribute I'm gonna use background blue so when it comes to styles they are set on the HTML what gets set on the element itself overrides what gets set on inside the head tag you know, because this is what CSS specificity is. So I came directly on the element and I said, you have the background of blue. When uh, as, as opposed to me going to head tag and say, you have the background of red. So this is more specific than this. Therefore, this overrides this. And if I refresh this, the background is indeed blue. But if I don't set this, background goes to red. So this is how you uh, um, handle an H, uh, styles asset on HTML. So everything on the HTML overrides uh, on the external style sheet. So if I go and say here, section background of green, it will not matter because everything's every style set on the, on the HTML overrides styles um, set on external class sheet so this that doesn't actually matter so worth thousand point they are in the thousands so they are hard to override unless you're using some um, some very nasty um, tool but I'm gonna talk about it later so in the hundreds there are IDs so I have an ID here item list and it is the UL so I have the item an order list here with ID of item list. I also set a class of items. So I'm gonna actually refer to it both way as it would class and the ID. I'm gonna say background of green for its ID. I'm gonna say background of um, let's say a gray for its ID. Because ID are worth uh, I in the hundreds. Um, It gets applied so the background is actually gray and the green background it gets ignored you know because IDs are worth more than the glasses so glasses are actually in the tans and right um, right beside it um, are attribute selectors so this is the same way I'm using to select the same thing and background of pink so this is the same way of selecting the same thing so this way the first one I use the class selector and this one I use the attribute selector but because they were the same thing let me just refresh it I'm just gonna remove the ID right here because they were the same thing the pink gets applied and the green gets ignored so when when it comes to the same point um, element set um, um, style set 
you the whatever comes last overrides the previous one another example would be if i want to grab the h2 right here i can say for example body h2 and also say section h2 these are not in the class of tens they are in the ones because they basic selectors so this they are normal selectors like this along with these are uh, uh, pseudo selectors and i think that's it so selectors and pseudo selectors are worth in that are in the ones so this is the same way of selecting the same thing so i'm gonna say color um red and color green because they work the same thing the red is gonna override the green like you can see right here so remember when are you when they have the same points uh, what comes last uh overrides the previous one so things that worth um nothing um actually are the um the direct child selector the general selector um what else the sibling selector um the next element selector and the not um to the selector so these and those these are don't work nothing so me saying section ul and me saying section direct child ul it's the same thing it's just this uh is more specific um this grabs anything any ul inside the section and this just say just grab only the ones that are direct children but they still work the same thing so if i say color green color blue and i delete these guys you see the greens overrides the blue but if i invert the order the blue overrides the green because they work the same thing so me adding this direct children doesn't didn't affect anything so remember worth ones are selectors things like section ul pseudo selectors for example uli before um a after those are pseudo selectors and in the tens we have class item and we have attribute selectors um, class equals item and also pseudo class so a hover so that's why the hover will override the a the normal a because it has more points than the normal a and in the hundreds we have the ids items list it's the only idea i have and remember in the ten in the thousands we have inline styles and style that are set in html so the only thing that overrides inline styles are actually the important flag so i'm gonna say background i'm gonna say here style background background of now i'm just gonna do i have a light gray actually i have a gray is much good so if i refresh this you see i have a I have a gray but if i come here and i say section background red it's still not gonna override it because the normal um, css style external shape um, style does not override this but if i come here and i say it's important important goes and overrides everything important does not have anything to do with css specificity uh it's just a flag for example the best way to use this is to override um library styles um things that come with framework or something like that uh, you can use that to override um style but if you start start seeing um a lot of important getting used in your style sheet that's a good sign that you're not understanding specificity as well so before you use this make sure you work your specificity you know you alter the order you 
set, apply an ID, um, a class before you start using important because they get things can get pretty nasty. And in the CSS, um, the web design world, when you see a lot of important, that's actually uh, it's a red flag, you know. It's, it tells you about uh, that developers are not understanding the idea of specificity and things are really really messy hey you really don't want to get in there so don't don't be that developer you know so don't use this uh try to work your specificity before you um come to the last j uh last case so use this is going to be your last resort but try everything so this is this um this is it for css specificity hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching See you next video.